guys, it's Devin. Today I'm going to be reviewing some dry shampoo for you. These are some brands I wanted to try out of curiosity and also some of my Instagram followers said that they wanted to try. So first of all, I don't recommend dry shampoo for everybody. If you have an unhealthy scalp, meaning it's super dry or itchy, or you get a lot of oil buildup or product buildup, you probably shouldn't be using dry shampoo. These don't have the best ingredients, so it's not the greatest products for your hair and scalp health. But if you have to use it, if your hair is healthy, then these are what I would recommend. Um, and I also, even if you have a healthy scalp, don't recommend replacing dry shampoo with your regular shampoo and conditioner. At the end of the day, we all need to wash our hair to have a healthy scalp, so wash your hair. That being said, the first brand I wanted to try was Amika. This is called Perk Up Dry Shampoo. This is the travel size that I got, so the regular size I'm assuming is a little bit bigger. Um, this is the second product from Amika that I've tried and I really liked. Overall, it was good. Um, it's definitely better for blondes or platinums because it does leave a little bit of dust on your hair. Even with mine, my hair's a little rootier. Um, it kind of left it feeling dusty, so that was the only thing that I really didn't like about this. It smelled really good. It smelled like vanilla, a little musky, but not too musky, more of a sweet musk vanilla. Um, and it left my hair feeling really good all day. I kind of could smell the smell in my hair. So that was nice because if your hair is kind of smelly after working out or something, this was good. Um, it does have a lot, you know, you can see it. So again, with the dust, um, it did leave my hair dusty. So that's the only thing I have to say that I didn't like. I probably would recommend this for blondes, again, or platinum hair. Probably not the best for brunettes, but it was good. The next brand is Dominus. So... I'm a little biased towards Dovinus. Uh, I love all of their products. They're all sulfate free and paraben free and I sell them at my salon. So obviously uh, I love this dry shampoo. It's definitely my favorite. I have a lot of clients who are brunette that use it also. So I don't feel like it leaves that dusty powder on your roots. If your hair is super oily and you use it, it will get white in spots, but you just kind of have to keep rubbing it off and it'll rub off. Uh, the smell is just really clean. Again, it's kind of dusty, hence dry shampoo, um, but it's more of a fresh smell. So I wouldn't say that it's sweet, it's more kind of on the fresh, clean side. Um, but again, Dominus is a yes. This is one of my favorite dry shampoos out there. So the next product I was super excited to try is We. I feel like I see this in Sephora all the time. I see it all over online and I was interested to see they have a dry shampoo foam, which is what I got, but they also have a regular dry shampoo. So I wanted to use the foam to kind of try something different. Um, there was a lot of mixed reviews online at Sephora. A lot of people didn't like it. A lot of people said it was a holy grail. Um, but I did read you want to use a golf ball size amount. So if you read the directions, it says a palm full, and I would not recommend that. I tried a palm full on my hair, and my hair was completely greasy, oilier than before. It was awful. Um, I tried probably smaller than a golf ball size, and I did get success with that. So you can see it's a foam. I probably started off using just a small amount like this and just kind of working it in my hands and then working it all along my scalp and everywhere. Um, it does get wet, but the more you rub and kind of keep rubbing, the more it comes out. Again, I had success that time. I tried it a handful of other times and I didn't have success with it. Um, I used it on my boyfriend and I felt like it worked a little bit better on him. I have a lot of hair, but it's more fine texture. He has really thicker strands of hair, so it's more coarse. So this maybe is for somebody that has thicker, coarse hair. You might like the foam, um, kind of an alternative to an aerosol. It smells really good. Um, it's a little too perfumey for me. If you're kind of sensitive to smells, you might not like it. Uh, I did feel like the smell kind of stayed in my hair. And it's definitely more of a perfumey, clean smell. Um, overall, it was okay. I'll probably try it a handful of other times just, just to try to get it right, but it was definitely hit or miss. So again, maybe someone with more coarse hair, use a tiny, tiny bit, less than a golf, saw, golf ball size amount, because if you use more than this, you're, it's just, it's not gonna work. So 
after that I am going to talk about the IGK swipe up charcoal dry shampoo hair blotting tissues so I was super excited to try these it's kind of an alternative to an aerosol um, I thought maybe it'll be a little bit more environmentally friendly even though aerosols have in almost all countries but not all but in the United States if you buy an aerosol from the US um, they took out an ingredient back in the 70s I want to I believe don't quote me that is bad for the atmosphere um, so I'm bad for the environment so aerosols aren't completely bad for the environment they're not good I read a lot of things that said if you are asthmatic they're not good for you and or for people that do have asthma so um, I always like to try to find things that are just way better for the environment so I thought these would be kind of cool I thought they'd be more like uh, face blotting tissues like when your face gets oily but I guess, you know, having all these these uh, containers aren't good for the environment, so that kind of defeats the purpose of them being individually packed, but they're super cute. They say fresh AF, um, and it says use the coated side to wipe, press with fingertips, and rub wherever you need immediate oil absorption. Move with your fingertips to an unused section and continue as needed. So I was super excited. We opened it up. Um... And actually, it's not the tissue itself that is absorbing the oil. Probably won't be able to see this on film, but uh, there's powder in it. So, to me, I really can't tell the difference between either side. And when I used it, I couldn't either. And when I opened it like that, uh, the fan or just not realizing what side to use, all the powder completely came off. So, um, the sheet itself does not work does not work at all. This is why I had bad reviews and was like half off on sale at Sephora because it's a no. Um, you might be able to tell my fingertips are kind of powdery from it, but it's just not enough powder to really get the job done. And these sheets don't absorb any oil. I thought maybe they would. I thought they'd be like the, the face blotting sheets. I thought that was kind of cool. So overall, these didn't work at all for me whatsoever. Um, they smell good. I mean, obviously, there's not much to it for it to smell bad, but it's, it's a really cool idea. I think maybe if they could change the texture, or they could change the paper itself to be thinner, maybe that would absorb some oil. Someone needs to just get the face blotting things and use that on their hair and tell me if it works, because this doesn't, and it's not enough powder to work. So, sadly, IGK was a no. A big no. So another alternative to aerosol is Verb Dry Shampoo. So this says gentle, cleanse, and light volume. Um, no parabens, gluten-free, no sulfates. So overall, Verb is a really good brand, uh, kind of similar to Davines. They're more paraben-free, um, environmentally friendly, not tested on animals, just like the Davines. The other brands I can't vouch for, I haven't looked up enough. But um, overall, I like this. This is a really good alternative to aerosol. Um, it's really lightweight. Um, you can kind of see, whew, a lot comes out with this. So I do use this on clients uh, when I do updos and people come with greasy hair. It's, it's kind of nice to use the nozzle just to get it where you want it. For me, using it at home, I kind of do what I did earlier, pour it in my hand, rub, and kind of just rub it all over. I don't feel like it leaves any dust like the Amica. Um, it pretty much, you know, just you can kind of rub it all out. So overall verb, I really like. It's a yes. Um, and I like their company. They're kind of more affordable, uh, cheaper. I think everything's like 14 bucks or something. Like everything from the company is 14 bucks. But I think they have another dry shampoo too. Um, that's an aerosol. But for an alternative, this is a yes. I liked it a lot. Last up is one that everybody on my Instagram really wanted to try. Um, it's by Dry Bar. I've never used any Dry Bar products ever, so I was excited to try this. I bought the original scent. Um, there was a few different ones, but this is kind of just what I picked. Again, the travel size to try. And I didn't use it. Um, after reading the ingredients, kind of lower towards the end was... So there's no conclusive evidence 
uh, to prove that talc causes cancer, but there has been lawsuits. Um, kind of more recently, I'm sure you've heard of it, uh, the baby powder Johnson & Johnson. Um, they were sued for having talc in their baby powder, which caused cancer in some uh, users, some people. Um, from everything I was reading, again, don't quote me, I don't for sure know, but it seemed like it was the asbestos in the talc that was linked towards the cancer causing. Um, but again, I just, that information alone is enough for me to decide that I don't really want to use things that do that have talc in them. Um, I don't think putting talc directly on your scalp would absorb into your body. I don't know though, I'm not a doctor or a scientist, so I can't say that that's true. But with the other dry shampoos you saw, if I sprayed it, you see it, you inhale it, you can breathe it in. So that's enough for me to not want to use this just because I don't want to breathe talc in. Uh, again, no conclusive evidence that talc causes cancer, but for me, I kind of like to stay more on the natural side. I don't like to use things with parabens if I can. Um, so yeah, I was super disappointed. I would love if Dry Bar uh, considered that and took that out of their products. None of the other products I used had talc in them. So maybe this works amazing and I don't know. Maybe the talc is what makes it work amazing, but for me, I'd rather stick to something else that doesn't have talc in it and feel safer, feel better about my products. So with that being said, my two favorites, are the Daveness and the Verb, a really good alternative to aerosol and Daveness still is my number one. It still to me is the best out of all of the dry shampoos I've tried and have tried in the past. So let me know what you guys think. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you've tried any of these, if you've tried other dry shampoos and you have more success. Um, let me know if you use Dry Bar and if that's amazing. Again, I don't want to use it and I don't recommend using it, but maybe you have used it in the past. Uh, let me know how that is. Also, like this video and subscribe if you're into it, if you want to see more videos. And let me know on my Instagram or down below in the comments what you want to see next, what you want me to try for you, what hair products, face products. Um, I would love to know. So that's all for me and the dry shampoo in my life. I'll see you guys later. Bye.